Robert James Page. I study at Naser Dance College. I am a Nawaji and Malanjali man um, from Townsville. I'm Tyrone Simpkins. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Inverell, in, up near Moree and Tamworth. I'm Talia King. I'm 14 and I'm from the Darawal, Yuan and Wabunja Nation. And I'm here doing the Bangara Rikindali. Rekindling is a good program, even that name just says cultural grounding and strength, like to build something that's sort of died out. It hasn't really died out because it's still got the embers there and all you need is someone with the passion or the strength or courage just to blow on it and just to bring that fire back to life. These kids who are getting all this knowledge, they're forming a bond together. At first they were mostly independent of each other and they'll be in little groups, but now they're all interacting with each other. It does show a, a sense of a community, they're making their own little community. What we're doing now is assisting, teaching our young people uh, what the culture is, probably finding out their um, own mob and that. In high school I wasn't really connecting with my culture because we never got to do any of that. We never got to go out and find out some of our people and stuff like that. Like finding out the areas, what the languages are and probably who the elders are. The connection with the elders in the Rekindling program, they've given us knowledge and these stories we would never know, especially because some of it's not even passed down through writing and it should be written down but that's the Aboriginal culture, it's, we speak it, we speak everything. Through the programs we've just been working on some repertoires and we've been working on creating new dances and we um, went to Killalea State Park and we got some inspiration from the site and we created a dance from that. My involvement in rekindling has really helped me culturally and it's helped me know more about my country and how to express that in the way I dance. It's really kept me strong being with the girls and having the role models. Uh, my favourite moment of the rekindling program would probably have to be like the day before show because we're all nervous but we're so excited about it and we're excited to share our culture and to share our dances and express who we are through our dances to all the people that are coming and all the spirits that are watching down on us. Dancing on stage with all the girls and learning the dance definitely kept me strong throughout the whole experience and just now or just before when we were performing it just felt every stomp that we did on the ground, every time we bent, every time we did something, the spirits and our elders, you could just feel their presence with us and it was just amazing to share that experience with our parents and with the elders that were there and, and any other person that was there. I'm just having a difficult time trying to figure out who my mob is, who's my clan and all that. It's a bit difficult, but I know I'm going to find it. I know, I know I'm going to meet up with some of my people from whoever my clan is one day. I'm still searching and uh, discovering more and more. I'm going to say dancing's my life now. My culture's my life. There are times when I do experience sort of a grey area where I've just like zoned out and dropped out of a routine. and. Like dancing does help. I do see a counsellor and it helps heaps. Yeah, I do have a mental health plan and it's based on that strong community-based thing. I've got to call family, hang out with friends. If I haven't got that strong community sense, I'm just really lost and I don't know where I'm at. And it's made me strong in the fact that I do reach out into this sort of traditional custom where is I reach out to friends and like to try to find a sense of community. 